Okay, folks, this is Lightning Bolt 99999, and this is another unboxing of uh, a weather radio, something I've done a lot of over the years. And this is a going to be a Radio Shack 12262. Now, this is a radio that I first got in January of 2011, I believe. And uh, it went on, it had a life of about three or four years, so on the lower side in terms of weather radios. And my original 12262 was used to record some pretty notable alerts of mine. Um, most notably, it was the radio on which I recorded uh, my civil danger warning on February 2nd, 2011. Anyway, uh, since that radio is long gone, I decided it was time to get a uh, another one of that one. And here we go. I found this on eBay from somebody who was selling it. So we'll see. It is used. It was, uh, at least the guy on eBay said it was confirmed to be working. We'll see. All right. He's got it packaged up nicely. It's the... Adapter, I'm sure. All right. Radio Shack brand adapter. I'm assuming this is the one that originally came with the radio. All right, here's the radio itself. already bringing back nostalgia because it's been nine years I think the original hold on. yes there it is my original my original 12262 stopped working uh, and died in 2014 so that was nine years ago um, but yeah it's really good to be able to have one of these again and so we will go ahead, set it up. I'm hoping that all goes well and that it, it works all right. All right, so. Get this going here. Plug this end in. All right, there goes the radio. All right, and it's settled on channel five, which is my usual uh, channel anyway. Let's see here. Seven to 10 feet, occasionally to 13 feet. Friday. Northwest winds to 30 knots, diminishing to 15 to 25 knots. And it seems to work great. And this is really, really nostalgic for me right now. Uh, just the button presses and the sounds it makes and everything. I had a 12521 that worked up until last year, which is a similar radio, but this is, this is really one I haven't had in a long time. So it went through the channel scan. Let's do that auto. Oh, so it was on the auto setting and that's why it automatically selected the channel, but I want it to be on manual. Tuesday night, south winds to 30 knots become. Okay, the next thing on the agenda. Backlight um, off on auto. What does auto do? I believe... Oh, auto leaves the backlight on for like a few seconds after you press the button. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have that off for now. 
just for the purposes of this video, it's easier to read what's on the screen if the backlight's not on. Uh, next thing, set country. Oh. I forgot that you could do that. Set language, English, Spanish, French. And go with English. I know a bit of Spanish and I know like no French, but we're going to go with English. Set alerts. Okay. Oh, that's right. This is where you can select alerts, which you do not want to be uh, activated. So, warning. Uh, you could really go through any of these. And that little symbol right there indicates that it is a uh, an alert that is that the radio will go off for so if I wanted to I would hit that and then alert off but I'm gonna keep most of these on so that the radio will go off for them I'm going to go through all of these because I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what the original owner of this radio had set, but it looks like he had all of them on. To get back. Okay. Visory. a lot of these off and I want like everything to be on just because these are some very rare like extremely rare alerts and in 13 years of recording EAS I've never gotten any of these transmitter alerts so in the very unlikely occasion that one of these came through, I want this radio to be able to go off for this. Required weekly test is off. So that's, that's the symbol that it shows if it's an alert that you don't want the radio to activate for. I personally don't want it to activate for this because I don't really record the weekly tests anymore. If I did, I would turn that on but I'm choosing not to wired monthly I don't know that that ever is on NOAA weather radios I've certainly never recorded one but I'll turn that on just in case Yeah, all these rare alerts. Like I would never get any of the hurricane alerts here. But all these rare ones, even the test ones. I've gotten an administrative message EAS before I recorded one of those. Um, that's everything for advisory. through the watches and there's a lot less uh, watches to go through so just bear with me here for a sec like here in Illinois I would never get something like a uh, hurricane watch but there are instances where uh, there are mistake activations that's all the watches and uh, in the case that like a hurricane watch was mistakenly activated here. I would want to be able to record that. Anyway, that's all the alerts. And what I was going through was just uh, making sure the ones that I wanted, the radio would go off for. And the ones I didn't want it to go off for, it wasn't going to. So anyway, that is all the alerts set. Location. 
Okay, I do not want this. If you were set it to single, you'd be able to enter a same code and only have the radio go off for alerts for one specific county. You could also do that to have it go off for multiple counties. But I like to record as many EAS alerts as possible. I've done that for years, and so we're going to have it set to all. Make sure I did that right. Yeah. Uh, signal reminder. Oh, what? I don't know what I just did. Mm. What in the world is the signal reminder? Okay, I have no idea what those are. Alert mode. Tone, I don't want it on tone. I want it on voice so that the alarm will go off on the radio and then plays the voice message. And we're back to select channel. So we've gone through all of the settings. And we're back to the main part of the radio clock. We're going to set the clock and it is... 1.23 p.m. right now. Does it go? Yeah, it does it that way. One twenty four p.m. Oh, I've screwed it up. But anyway, that's how you would set the time. I don't remember what... I think you have to hit the clock button again. Oh, so just hitting clock goes to the alarm and this person that owned the radio before me I guess had an alarm set for 8 44 a.m. Uh, which I I don't care I'm not going to use the alarm anyway that symbol right there indicates that the alarm is on just going back here yeah alarm that's alarm on it's in the on position right now all the way to the right off and then there's a snooze button but i'm gonna have it off because i don't need to use the alarm on this radio i use the alarm on my phone and then this is the alert so right now the radio is off it will not go off for any alerts so i switch that and it's on so the alert yeah the alert being off does that and it has the off symbol and the alerts being on on the radio does that. So it will now go off for any alerts. I really want to uh, give setting this clock another go. And it is 125 now. I believe if I hit the clock button again. Oh my god, I did it again. You know what? I th it's been so long since I've had this radio. I do not remember how anything works. Or a lot of it I'm forgetting. So one. It's 126 now. Let's try holding the clock button. What in the world? Okay, um... Let's see. You know what? I seem to remember there was some really weird way of doing the clock on this radio. Oh, I think I know what it is. I think you have to hit this. Yes, okay. That took a, oh, and it just turned 127, so now the clock's not right. But anyway, that is uh, unboxing and setup of the Radio Shack 12262. Oh yeah, one more thing, forgot. You can set the volume of the alarm, like the alert 
tone on the radio by pressing the down or up button. So down, yeah. So okay, it's set. So this is the alarm on the radio. Or, oh, I have it on the lowest setting. But that. And that's it. I don't know how, I don't remember how high the setting goes, but honestly, I don't want to find out. Um, I'm going to have it on the lowest setting because I live with other people. And uh, quite honestly, in the spring, there's, I'm sure, going to be a lot of alerts. Anyway, this was the unboxing and setup of the Radio Shack 12262. Again, uh, 12 years after the first time I did it. And yeah, thank you for watching. Look forward to recording alerts off of this radio when uh, some more EAS starts coming in.